works is the ultimate battery-powered outdoor equipment. The 13-amp 20-inch corded snow thrower quickly and effectively clears driveways, sidewalks, and patios. Get more power, torque, and longer tool life without the hassle of gas. With a 20-inch clearing width and 10-inch clearing depth, move large amounts of snow conveniently that has fallen up to 10 inches deep. The discharge chute rotates 180 degrees for directional control and can throw snow up to a distance of 20 feet away. The seven inch rear wheels makes it convenient to maneuver over multiple snowy surfaces. Easily store the tool after use thanks to the convenient folding handles. The 13 amp 20 inch corded snow thrower is an ideal alternative to gas. No gas, no oil, no maintenance. Greenworks, life gets easier. Deal with whatever winter throws your way with the max power and max performance of the SJ627E 22-inch 15-amp electric snow thrower with dual LED lights from Snowjo. Snowjo's engineers have maxed out this model by combining the power of gas with the performance of an electric for unlimited snow shredding power, the widest clearing width, and best-in-class performance in an eco-friendly electric unit. The powerful 15-amp motor is ideal for clearing large driveways and walkways. Equipped with steel auger and four heavy-duty rubber tip blades, SJ627E moves a massive amount of snow, up to an incredible 25 tons per hour, while clearing a path up to 22 inches wide by 13 inches deep in a single pass. SJ627E features an adjustable chute that rotates 180 degrees to direct the snow stream up to 25 feet away to put the powder precisely where you want it, and features a durable scraper bar at the base of the unit to clear to the ground without damage your deck, driveway, or pavement. Compared to heavier and more cumbersome gas machines, SJ6270 weighs just 35 pounds so you can easily maneuver it around your property. And for safer nighttime snow removal, SJ6270 features dual integrated 3-watt LED headlights to brighten the way for increased nighttime visibility. And SJ6270 is backed by Snow Joe's complete two-year warranty. So when winter strikes, fight back and go with Joe with the max power and max performance of the SJ6270. 22-inch, 15-amp electric snow thrower with dual LED lights from Snow Joe. Get equipped. Don't blow it, throw it with SJ615E, the perfect storm of electric power and eco-friendly performance in a compact, single-stage snow thrower from Snow Joe. Snow Joe makes it quick and easy to clear snow off your driveways and walkways. No back pain from shoveling, no gas and oil to mix, cords to pull, or fumes to inhale. At the heart of the SJ615E is a peak performance 11-amp electric motor capable of moving up to 441 pounds of snow per minute for unlimited snow shredding operation. Quickly clear paths 15 inches wide and up to 8 inches deep in a single pass. And watch the durable two-blade temperature resistant paddle logger throw snow up to 20 feet away to put the powder precisely where you want it with a 180 degree adjustable chute. Plus, the plastic scraper bar at the base of the unit lets you clear right to the ground without damaging your deck or pavement. And the SJ615E is backed by Snow Joe's full two-year warranty. This year, when it comes to snow, go with Joe and clear out fast with tough winter blasts. The SJ615E 15-inch 11-amp single-stage snowblower from Snow Joe. Get equipped. Hi, this is Stephen from Snow Joe. This is another video installment in our series entitled Let's Open the Box. The purpose of this is to show you how easy it is to put together your Ion 18 s bay. Okay, so the first step of what we're going to do is we're going to take our utility knife and we're going to carefully open the box.
As you look inside the box, look how well it's been packaged. Okay, so the next step in the process is once you've lifted the unit out of the box is to get the rest of the pieces. So what we're going to get is the chute deflector, our user's manual, and then we're going to take the accessories box. We're going to open the accessories box and inside what you're going to find is the battery charger, your actual battery, and the knobs to put it together. Okay, so the next step in the process is we're gonna take our charger out of the box and we're gonna plug that into the wall. The next step will be, let's take our battery. You'll put the end with the holes in and all you're gonna do is slide it into these grooves. You'll see the lights will become red and green. That shows it's charging. When it's fully charged, both lights will be green. Once you've allowed the battery to charge for between two and three hours, you'll know it's fully charged by looking at the green indicator lights on the actual battery. You push the little black button, and if all three lights are green, you know your battery's fully charged. Okay, so the next step in the process is simply to remove all of the protective packaging material. We're going to use our handy little knife, and we're going to cut away the tape or the twisty ties that are holding everything in place. We'll just take this off. Okay, so the next step in the process is to lift the handlebar and rotate it 180 degrees. And then what you're going to do is you're going to line up these two holes in the bottom of the handlebar with the two holes that are in the bottom of the extension of the, of the snowblower. Just like that. The next step in the process is to take the J-bolts, remove the knob. What you're going to do is you're going to take it and put it so that it comes from the outside going in through these two holes and all you're going to do is lift the handle up so that the two holes line up and then you're just going to push it in. You'll then take the knob from the inside and just simply screw it into place. As you can see, there are no extra tools needed for this entire assembly. Okay, so the next step in the process is simply attaching the chute deflector. And to do that, you're going to need the chute deflector top piece and the nut and bolt. So, what we'll do is we'll unscrew this, and the trick is, put the nut in first, and then what you're going to do is push it just a little bit so that the washer hangs on the outside. And then we're going to attach the deflector. Okay, so what you can see here is, here's the top of the chute deflector, here's your black washer, and here's the directional piece. All you're going to do is push the bolt fully through and then hand tighten the nut into place. That's it, as simple as that. And then all you're going to do is repeat on the other side. As you can see now, the battery's been charging for two and a half hours and it's fully charged. It's indicated by the two green lights that have now changed, whereas before it was green and red, now they're both green. It's fully charged. Okay, the final step is to install the battery into the unit. You simply open the case and with the grooves, slide it down. You'll hear it click into place. Simply close the door, you'll hear that click into place. Now all you have to do is adjust the handle to the right height that works for you. You'll take the blue tabs, open them up, adjust the handle so it's at the right height for you, and then just simply clip them into place. Now that your ion has been fully assembled, let me just review a couple of the features of the unit. The first is the chute deflector. You can automatically adjust its angle with the joystick up here at the top. It moves both left and right. No cranking needed. Another nice feature is the flashlight that we have up on the top. It's an LED light and all you need to do is turn it on from here. You can adjust it higher or lower depending upon where you're working. The other safety feature of the system has to do with the safety key. Inside the unit is a little black key. If you remove this, if you have small children, they can't use the system without your permission. You can simply take this key out and the unit doesn't start. When you're ready to use it, simply take the key, slide it back into place, you'll hear it click, and then close the door. So to use your system, it's really very simple. You're going to push in the safety button on the side and then pull back on the handle. 
To stop, all you need to do is release. That's it. I hope you've enjoyed this instructional video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us or go to our website at www.snowjo.com. Thank you.